Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold yours off if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that reads that no speakers or headphones are plugged in. So if they are in fact plugged in, but you're coming across this message, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the search menu. Type in device manager. Best result, check them back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the audio inputs and outputs section and then locate the audio device in question. Right click on it and if it says enable device, make sure you go ahead and select that. So if it says disable device, it means it's currently on, which you don't want to mess with. But if it says enable device here, go ahead and enable that. And that's again the first thing I'd recommend taking a look at. Something else we can try here as well, if you go underneath sound, video, and game controllers, double click on that. Right click on the audio device as well, and make sure those devices are enabled in here in the same manner and same fashion that we did with the audio input and output section up at the top. So again, first thing I recommend trying. We can also open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot. Best match, or come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. And now on the right side underneath options, select other troubleshooters. And then underneath the most frequent section, select the audio troubleshooter and the corresponding run button. It's going to ask for your consent in order to run the automatic diagnostic utility. Go ahead and select yes. And then it's just going to continue to run the application here. Again, I'm not going to necessarily follow through with each individual step here because it can take some time, again, depending on the complexity of your issue. But I think you guys get the general gist here. So pretty straightforward process. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.